Hey Matt, lettuce seat is on. Lettuce eat, she's lettuce eat, and you're in for a treat when you watch lettuce eat. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link and checking me out. Consider clicking on that subscribe button down below. We're going to work on two of my kitchen drawers today that have gotten out of hand. Every three to four months, I like to reset certain things in my kitchen, keep them in tip top shape. I like to go through canned goods, under the sink, all the drawers and the cabinets to make sure nothing is expired, wipe them down and just keep them clean. Today we're going to focus on two of the drawers. The junk drawer is still pretty neat and organized, which I'm shocked and I'm sure you are too. And I'm going to show you the before, before we go into the drawers and take everything out. And then I'll show you an after at the end of the video. I'm coming to the realization that whatever Dollar Tree hack that you use to keep these drawers organized and clean looking is not going to work because they always end up in a hot mess, especially if you have a family of two, three, four, whatever, it's going to end up looking like this guaranteed. So we're going to straighten this out this morning. We're going to take everything out. We're going to wipe it down. My kitchen is very old. It's over 20 years old. We're going to be here another five years, maybe four before we move. And then the landlord's going to redo everything. But for now, it's functional and I keep it as clean as I can, despite how old and worn the kitchen is. I'm going to start by taking everything out. This is a good way to inventory as well to see what you're running low on. If you have duplicate menus, you can get rid of them. Just like I did, quickly give it a fresh wiping so you can start putting your organizing trays back in and hopefully it will stay that way. I like to buy organization items at Dollar Tree. I'm a big fan of the Dollar Tree walls. I'm not doing Dollar Tree walls anymore. And they don't always work the way I want to. 
But we're gonna try. A lot of this stuff is gonna be discarded because you just don't want a lot of extra stuff that you're not gonna be using. Now these little tools I do keep in case I need them for something. Because one time I get rid of them, I will not have them. I've been looking everywhere for that. Needs batteries. And we do use our condiments, especially my 14 year old. My kids eat scotch tape, so I had to have a lot of it. It doesn't have to be picture perfect as long as it doesn't look like a hot mess. Here's the after of the drawers. This is the first drawer. Here's the second drawer of the organizing project for the kitchen today. And I'll show you the after. Using multiple bins, you can create false drawers for extra storage. Wipe it out, don't soak your sponge. A much better place to put all those straws. That is a hidden gem at the Dollar Tree. So are there magic erasers and I cut them down to size to get multiple uses out of the one eraser. They work really well.
Dollar Tree also has really great eyeglasses cases for kits and accessories, so check them out. And I keep two lights on hand. Here's the first drawer that we just did. And here's the second drawer. Doesn't have to be picture perfect, just organize where you can see what's in it. Be sure to go over to YouTube at Lettuce Eat and subscribe. That is it for this video. We got those two drawers done. They don't have to be picture perfect, but I can open them up. I can find my scissors, my scotch tape. I can find my cling wrap or anything that I need from those drawers by just looking in it instead of having to rummage through things. Try not to pile things into the drawers that you're never going to use because that's going to just put it out of place, out of mind, and create clutter. If it's clutter and you're never going to use it, get rid of it. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link and checking me out. Make sure you subscribe. We have a Facebook group you can join. You go over to Let Us Eat, Cook, Clean, and Family and answer a few questions. As long as they're answered correctly, you'll be joined right into the group. Have a fantastic day, and thank you so much for watching.